So we want to do something a little bit different with our YouTube channel. So we're going to start doing some cooking videos. So this one's the first one. I'm going to make a blueberry crumble. Easy recipe, easy to follow, step-by-step -step guide on how to. So here you go. Plain white flour. Unsalted butter. Sugar. Blueberries or any other fruit of your choice. Scales and a mixing bowl or a big pan which is what I'll be using. An Omnia and a gas hob. So here we go. This is the Omnia. It comes in a few different parts. I'll be using one of the silicon moulds which are great. Um, so that just goes in the Omnia like so. And then time for the blueberries. Spread them about a bit. Nice. Give the blueberries a quick sprinkle of sugar. Not a lot, just a quick covering to make it nice and sweet. We're done, put that to one side for a bit. Now to do some weighing on the scales. These are quite handy to have in the van. I'd recommend them, they seem quite good, quite accurate as well. Um, so we'll start weighing out our ingredients now in our mixing bowl saucepan. First the flour, 150 grams of flour. Slow-mo. Then the sugar. You want 85 grams of sugar. Another slow mo. And finally, the butter. You want 100 grams of butter. Now I like to slice my butter up really thin in thin slices, it just makes it easier for the crumbling process afterwards. Time to get your hands dirty and start making that crumble. You could use a spoon or something else to mix it with, but I find mixing it with my hands is so much easier. Next step is to pour the crumble on top of the blueberries. You want to get a nice even spread on that. You want it on a medium to low heat. You don't want it too high because it will burn the bottom. You don't want it too low because it will take forever to cook. As you can see, our knob's not very good at getting a good temperature. 
make sure your omni is right in the center lid on and then leave it around half an hour later and it's done if you can try and resist the temptation of opening the lid and having a look I do that and it just slows down the cooking time so much hi Gil's head time to dish out Dished us out a nice portion each, but as you can tell, we ended up eating half of it each. Yum yum! Thanks for watching!